Hello, today we're in um, Zechariah 2.13. Be still before the Lord, all mankind, because he has roused himself from his holy dwelling. I want to read it again. Be still before the Lord, all mankind, because he has roused himself from his holy dwelling. You know, we are His holy dwelling. He dwells in us. This is why it's so important what you feed your, sp what you feed your spirit with. You cannot serve two gods, three, four, five gods. If you're not going after God, Almighty God, you have several gods in your life. TV, games, music, material things, um, reality shows, news. I mean, I, I can go on and on and on. And that's what you're feeding yourself with and that's what you are allowing to come in your spirit God's not going to dwell in you the Holy Spirit is not going to lead you you are the temple of God and you need to take care of that temple you need to take take care of your spirit your physical body your mind, your heart, so He can dwell in you. So you can be a holy dwelling. And people will be touched by that. Why? Because you live in truth, you stand in truth, and you speak truth. And you're not a hypocrite. We have lost so many people because us Christians, we're hypocrites. They know we go to church, but our life is a mess. And you're one of those that are hanging out at the bar. You're one of those that are posting pictures in Facebook, holding alcohol, going to things, and being part of things that you shouldn't be doing. We don't stand like we live for God and we feed ourselves with God, with the Word of God. We need to stop living like that. Nothing is going to change. This world is never going to change if we don't stand in truth. And if we don't go after being authentic and being you, and stop doing what everybody's doing so you look cool. I don't know how many times I'm going to tell you this. It's not about you. It's about God. You're not going to end up in heaven living the way you're living. If God is not the one that dwells in you. I'm going to tell you who's dwelling in you the enemy if that's the kind of life you're living I was there thank you God that you opened my eyes thank you God that you never gave up on me and he's not going to give up on you that's why I'm here telling you this because maybe the people that you call your friends won't tell you the truth won't tell you that you're a hypocrite but I will tell you because I love you and because I was there and now I'm free and I will live for God until the end and I'm not going to look back and I'm telling you this because you can do the same thing it is possible it is not impossible I told you yesterday baby steps he will lead you don't be afraid 
don't feel content with what you have and what you're doing. What you're doing is not enough and it's not working. So allow him to show you what works and what will take you far and that and what will take you to his presence. Okay. Again, just sharing truth with you because the truth will set you free. God bless you.